All right. Is it good enough? Okay, I don't think so. Uh, oh, 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 why don't you show uh, guys at home? Okay, I think I, I need to add uh, more more details. Is it, is it a hat, like a gangster hat? Um, maybe it's like a pret. Okay, let let. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Oh, is it uh, like a, a meat roll? No, it's meat not roll. great. It's not great. It's not a meat roll. So I thought, are you gonna cut the meat roll? But, no. but meat doesn't have these like. I know. Oh, wait a second. That, that reminds me of uh, cut it wood, maybe. A it's lot. wood. It's 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 wood. Oh, I got it. Okay. What is it? What is it? I know what it is. What is it? I am so sure. Hello, dear friends. Hello, guys. How are you? I'm so excited today. I uh, guess what? We decided to bring a game and play it here live for you. Mm. And we're gonna use that game to share with you some knowledge, some vocabulary, even some trivia about Christmas tradition okay. that maybe you never heard about. Let's get to it. Okay. okay. Let's let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's let's begin with it. Let's try it. Okay, so we cannot do play Pictionary without these things, right? So I'm gonna do it first, Ray. So, okay, are you up for this? Good luck. Okay, all right. Her. So I'll try my best. What do you have there for me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, is it good enough? Okay, I don't think so. Uh, oh, why don't you show guys at home? Okay, I think I, I need to add uh, more see. more details. Is it, is it a hat, like a gangster hat? Um, maybe it's like a pret. Okay, let let. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Can you guess it already? Mm. Um, I don't know. So. For you who are watching us, uh, you can leave in the comment section below. At which point of the video you could guess it? Maybe you can guess it uh, better than I. Uh, I'm not really sure. How about this one? Oh, is it uh, like a, a meat roll? No, it's meat not. Roll. Right? It's not. It's right. not a meat roll. So I thought, are you gonna cut the meat roll? But, no. but meat doesn't have these. Like I know. Oh, wait a second. That that reminds me of. Uh, Cut it wood, maybe a it's lot. It's wood. It's 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 wood. Oh, I got it. Okay. What is it? What is it? I know what it is. What is it? I am so sure. Guys, let me introduce you the Christmas log cake. Okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, yeah. It is inspired in a much much ancient tradition, which is uh, the tradition that uh, people in around Christmas Eve they go to the woods. And they try to find and chop down the biggest log mm. of wood that they can find and bring it to the middle of the, the, the to the middle of the village. Okay. And burn it. So it is a tradition to make a big bonfire. Oh, so it's, it's technically a giant campfire. Yes. Ah. It is kind of a giant campfire made with the biggest log available. So from that tradition. The log cake was originated mm. in Western cuisine. Mm, and that's that good. All right. Okay, my turn. Brace yourself for some Christmas horror. Mm. My time drawing. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna hide it a little bit for you. All right. Okay, try to keep the surprise. Um, okay, let's try to do it like this. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. ta -da -da -da. Ta -da -da -da. I think he's. You did a good job, Ray. Right? So it's isn't it obvious? So guys, can you can you guess what it is? So it's the candy cane, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Candy cane. Yeah. Pure. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it actually just are sugar sticks uh, that mm -hmm. are red and white stripes, and usually are uh, be used for giving out during Christmas or even decorations houses, right? Mm -hmm. So guys, so now. It's just like a staff, right? Like, like a, a, a staff. But if you make it inverted, what is it now? I don't know if it, it, it's, it's set right on the camera, but it's actually an inverted J letter. 
Yes. Uh huh. So it stands for Jesus name. Oh. Yeah. So it stands for Jesus name. I wonder. <laughs> it's interesting, right? It's interesting. I never thought about it. Okay. And I, and I also mentioned before the mass production, it was purely white. Right, because it stands for the sinless nature of Jesus. Oh yes, and I also know that uh, when they added the red. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it means? Yeah, I, okay. go away, go away. Uh, it was it was meant to represent the blood spilled by Christ in the cross. Hmm. So it's like their sacrifice of yes. Jesus. Yes. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So uh, guys, the so next time if you ever seen. A cane, a candy cane. You know there are hidden messages and maybe simple logical meanings behind it. Absolutely. Once again, I'll kindly ask you, give me another one. All right, this one's gonna be easy, right? So it's so 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 well known. Oh, let me do it quickly. Okay. All right. Oh, you can, of course. Can from here, guys. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this one is really easy. So familiar. So familiar yeah. for everyone. Yeah. You're gonna immediately guess it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't even need much. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, okay. okay. Alright, so guys. Okay, I know we can do it. Okay. It's a piece of cake, right? So, what is it? Yes. So, we have there a wonderful, wonderfully depicted mm -hmm. Christmas tree. Yeah, thank you for yes. your compliments. Very, very good. It's very realistic. <laughs> okay. Very realistic. Yeah, I thought I was drawing an ice cream or something. But, no, yeah. no, not at yeah. all. Not at all. Not at all. Let me show you guys again. Oh my god. It's wonderful. Can you draw? Such a beautiful Christmas tree. Yeah, I challenge you. Yeah. The so Christmas tree is very popular. And like like it's closely associated with Christmas yeah. or well, represent Christianity, right? Yeah. yeah but however. however, yeah. It is thought to originate it in from the pagans in Europe. Yes. Yes. It so was where, was an yeah. pagan ritual. Yeah, it was long before Christianity. Yes. Yeah. So so yes. people they, they chopped down evergreen trees, they brought it back to celebrate winter festival. Yes, you're absolutely right. But I think I have a question for you. Uh -huh. mm, I, I I've thought about building my own Christmas tree mm -hmm. and buying all the like adornments but uh, this one thing, the star atop the tree, is it optional? It should not be optional. Uh -huh. The star should be absolutely mandatory because it's probably the most meaningful symbol mm. in Christmas tree yeah, can nowadays. You, can, you, can you be more clear? Yeah. It's the symbol that it's more related to Christian culture. Mm. Let me tell you why. Legend says that around the time that Christ was born, mm -hmm. maybe a few weeks before, a new star appeared in the sky. Wow. Okay, and in old scripts in that region, it was said that that star would be the guide to the place where a new king or a new messiah would be born. Uh, which is their nativity crib, right? Yes. yes. So it would guide anyone to the nativity crib. The story also tells that three wise men, mm. maybe they were kings or just powerful sorcerers from the east, when they saw that star in the sky, mm -hmm. they knew it was the star from the old scripts uh -huh. that would guide them to that king. So they decided to embark on a journey through sure. the desert, mounting on their camels to find the nativity crib, which they did. Yeah, after and they weeks. found it. Right? They followed the, that star, the Bethlehem star. Oh, so that's how it comes. Can you say it again? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. It's, Bethlehem. The, it's the name of a city. Oh, now? Yeah, even oh. nowadays that city oh. still exists. And at that time, it was around Bethlehem that Christ was born. Mm. So the star guided them directly to that city and to the place where Christ was born. Oh. And even nowadays, uh, those three wise men are still depicted in nativity scenes. Mm. We have another tradition which is to 
mount an activity scene with ceramic uh -huh. figures. Figures, I have seen that around yeah. Christmas tree. Yeah. Uh, some people make it in other places because they can be huge, the size of a room. Yeah, or like, it could be a miniature sense or miniature a big one. of the nativity cream, yeah. of a little town, the shepherd, the sheep, a river, yeah. a lake, a castle of the king. It can be as complete as you wish. Mm -hmm. Some people make that as a hobby oh, a year. And it, it, you can even watch on the news like competitions for the biggest nativity. Even scenes. competitions for that. Yes, even mm -hmm. competitions mm -hmm. for that. Okay. So the Christmas star absolutely is important. Alright. Okay. Uh, so uh, stay we'll be right back with another set. Okay.